Okay, this is an Ender 3 V2 3D printer. And if you want to find out how to make crispy, clean, two colored prints without any specialized software, I just use the regular print factory software that was in the printer and standard Cura 4.9. Just uh, hang on and I'll show you how I, uh, I do that. Okay, we open up Cura, we find our file, we'll drag and drop it in, we'll rotate it as it needs to be, and first we slice it. I just use standard quality, nothing special, and we find at what layer we want to make the switch. It looks like 15 is the last layer it needs to print before it uh, we want to swap the color. So then we go to post-processing, modify G-code. It's all standard in there. Add a script and do pause at height. And there are a few settings that you need to do to make it work. Uh, that's for instance, we want to set it to layer at number and we want to pause at layer 15. It's the last layer we want to print with the first filament. Then you set it to BQM25 for some reason M0 doesn't work. Then we paste, we type over the, G, the G code suggestion that uh, Cura already made. That seems to work fine. Don't forget it because I heard some people that have troubles with it. Standby temperature. Yeah, I will fill in 80 degrees. I don't think it does anything, but this is what I did and this is how it worked. So why change it? Okay, slice it again. And the file is ready to write to the disk. Okay, that's it. And we move to the printer. Okay, so here we are at the printer. I've got the SD card already loaded. And at first, we're just going to print our file see you in a bit okay printing along printing along everything's fine aha uh -huh. there it is it's waiting it's waiting for us to swap the filaments. And now we tweak them a little. We press tune. We press nozzle temperature. Somehow it lowers a bit. Not sure why it does that. And we set the temperature to 80 degrees. For my filament it seems to be the sweet spot. And we just wait and wait until the temperature drops. Still 80 degrees. See you in a bit. 85. 84. 80. And what we're going to do now is a complete purge of the blue filament. Does it work? I'll show you. Uh, I'll... Try not to move the stepper motors. And it sounded right. As you can see, I've made a complete purge of the blue filament. That means I can put in another color and we've got no contamination whatsoever. Okay, I'll get another color and see you in a minute. Okay, I've got my yellow filaments here. I'll snip it off and load it in the Up to the hot end. There it goes. Oh, don't want to get any nuts in there. We'll fill it in, fill it in, fill it in until it's not giving anymore. Okay, and we get back to the temperature, nozzle temperature, up to 200. And just to be sure, 
I'm not going to resume printing until it reaches 200. I'm not sure what it's going to do if it's not at 200, but why risk, why risk it? Okay, so I'll let the temperature rise. See you in a minute. Okay, so it's back on temperature. <clears throat> One final last step before we can continue. I push in a little bit of yellow through the nozzle just to get it started. Okay, and I'll pull it back a little bit. Just four or five millimeters. And let me get that little blob that's under the nozzle. There you go. Ready to print. And there it goes. Squeaky, crispy, clean yellow filaments. No mixing whatsoever. Okay guys, if you like this tip, feel free to like and subscribe, okay? Okay, here we have the finished result on the printer. And as you can see, no contamination of blue and yellow. And for anybody who's wondering what I'm printing here, it's just a little box to keep in your uh, set of Uno uh, cards. If you want to download this file, I'll uh, link. A, I'll get a link in uh, in the description to my Cults account. Okay. Bye.